Hang on. What's that behind your ear? And I care so low. Hey guys, Vimbic here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this. This is the I Care Solo from E-Leaf. Now, uh, a little while back, um, E-Leaf, because they care, they make the I Care for new smokers and uh, pocket-friendly vapors. Um, and it was this. This was the um, e I Care Mini from E-Leaf. Uh, and it looked a lot like this, because this is what it was. Um, and it was a small sort of ting. And uh, to work it, you sucked it like this. <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't really get on with it. But um, the, the idea was there. So top fill, uh, you know, you fill it whatever juice you like. And it was a super pocket friendly starter vape. Uh, they have now produced this. So they've gone back to the drawing board on this one. Uh, and they've brought out the I Care I Solo. Uh, sorry, I Care Solo from E Leaf. And this is what this is. What is it? It's a tiny, tiny, tiny refillable uh, cigar like e cig thing. Um, you know, so it's it's throwing away your egos, it's throwing away the cigar like thing, and it's just down to being uh, a tradition like a brand new sort of shape and style. Um, made popular by some of the you know pod systems. Now, this is not a pod system, but it does look like a pod system. Um, it isn't a pod, you literally just refill the tank, and the coil sits in the tank. Uh, so, you swap your coils and you, you put whatever juice in you like. 1.1 mil capacity, 18 mil wide, uh, 11 mil thick, and 100 mil high. So I mean, just the smallest, most pocket-friendly thing ever. You know, super pocket-friendly. Um, the coil that's in these tanks. Now let me get this right. It's a one ohm. It's a 1.1 ohm head. Uh, and you get two in the box. Also in the box you get manual and a charge cable. And that is really all you need. Now the original, as I've said, it was like this... Um, it was like mouth activated. I never quite got on with the mouth activation thing. I was like... I think because I wanted to mouth to lung it, and it doesn't like you taking those breaks in your drawing. Um, so, but anyway, I don't know if uh, a lot of people didn't like that or what the deal was with that. But it now has a firing button there, and you can turn it off now. Five clicks on, five clicks off. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, the other thing they had going on with this was charging. They had charging docks and stuff like that. Uh, they've dispensed with that. They now use a charge, a traditional charge port. The other one had one as well, but basically you just get a cable and a, a and a charge, and you just plug it in, uh, and you can continue using it using it when it's plugged into a charger. 320 milliamp hour battery. But remember, you know when you say 320 milliamp hour. You're vaping this at very low wattage, really. Um, so, you know, battery life, compared to your other stuff, is, is going to be absolutely fine. You know, you will get quite far on a 320 ma battery before plugging it in. Um, the draw on this, um, it's like a very restricted lung hit that you can mouth to lung, if that makes sense. I'll have a go. So that's sort of how I've been doing it, you know, sort of mouth to lung ish. Uh, but you can just lung it. Um, like that. And, you know, it's just a very smooth, tight, slow, steady draw if you want to do it like that. Um, what else do you need to know? It's a 1.1 mil capacity tank inside. Um, and uh, yeah, basically to operate it, I'll show you on some other pictures now, but effectively you pull your drip tip off and you un you turn this here and your coil comes flying out and to fill it, you just chuck your juice down the center there. Could not be more simple to change the coil. You literally unscrew the bottom half of that bit that you've pulled out and that's where your coil is sat. Um, you have as well little holes on the side here 
uh, and that is where your airflow is coming from on both of those. So I guess if you just pinched one side, yeah, shit would get real then. It wouldn't really work. But there we go. So what's it like? What do I think of it? Um, I think it's way better. I think it's a much I think it's a big improvement on this. The coils seem to work better, the flavour's better, um, I prefer using a button, I prefer the fact you can turn it off. Um, yeah, I think the shape makes more sense in a lot of ways because this goes in a pocket really easy but you can still grab it. Um, nice and thin, nice and light, really light, feels really well made, really solid. Um, and I think the flavour's very good and the vapour production is exactly right for this style of thing I think. I have one more vape on it to show you. There we go, and that is what it vapes like. I think it's I think it's really nice. I think it's a big big improvement from a leaf. Uh, I really like this. I would recommend this to a smoker absolutely. Um, if you think if you're already a vapor, you probably are watching this, um, and you're thinking about it. I would say if you like this style of thing, you know if you if you're familiar with the pod systems, but you want one, you can put your own juice in. This is definitely an option. Is it um, is it a pod killer? Uh, is it a uh, my Von Earl killer or um, you know one of these type systems uh, I don't know I don't know I prefer it I prefer it to those systems I don't like how restricted those systems are and how they work and stuff and, and, and what their intended use is but uh, I prefer this I prefer these I think it's cool you can put whatever juice you want in um, it's refillable on the go it's not a it, it, because you're putting your own juice in, you know, bottles of juice that you can buy freely and readily, it's not a big expense. You know, this is a very affordable bit of kit, and I really like it. I think this, this is exactly, this is a perfect improvement for me based on what I thought of the original. Uh, I think it's really, really good. I recommend this. I recommend this. I think it's good. I think it's good. Uh, I've been Vic, and I'll see you again soon.